Now that the Food and Drug Administration of the Philippines has approved the amended emergency use authorization for certain vaccines to be used as a booster, it is now the Department of Health giving us the go signal to go ahead and have booster shots. Which booster shots will be recommended for patients who have received Sinovac? Let's watch this. We all know that the FDA recently has approved four COVID-19 vaccine brands as booster shots. In fact, the Department of Health has already allowed the mix and match of vaccine brands and that the priority of those to be given the injections follows the initial priority list, where healthcare workers belong to the A1 list. So fully vaccinated healthcare workers will get their third dose or booster shot of the COVID-19 vaccine starting November 17. Since majority of the Filipinos, especially healthcare workers, got Sinovac because it was the only available COVID-19 vaccine during the time of initial inoculation around March of this year, the government will now allow those who completed their Sinovac primary two doses of vaccination to choose any brand as booster shot that will be approved, that has been approved by the regulatory bodies. This is the exact time that I was telling my colleagues during the early of 2021, when we were given the primary shots of COVID-19 vaccine, that whatever vaccine available during the time, we should get them because there will come a time that we can choose whatever vaccines we can in the succeeding shots. Now, with the booster doses being approved already in our country, we have the options to choose which vaccine brands we want for booster shot. What then is a better vaccine? One of the latest real-world uh, observation data from Chile has shown that if you're given Sinovac, a third shot of Sinovac can clearly increase the strength of protection. Specifically, the increased effectiveness against COVID-19 was seen 14 days after the booster shot, and it was able to reach as much as 80%, up from 56%, while it increases the effectiveness of protection against hospitalization by 88%, up from 84%. But the best real-world data Regarding the different booster shots, what if we compare Sinovac booster with the Pfizer booster? Would be data coming from Chile because majority of their patient population actually received Sinovac. So this study from Chile really analyzed a cohort of people that were affiliated with the National Health Fund aged 16 years or older with no history of SARS-CoV-2 but have already received Sinovac as primary immunization. The study then looked at the effectiveness that was estimated for each vaccine booster and focused on preventing COVID-19 or COVID-19-related hospitalization. The outcomes were then compared to the unvaccinated population. So the results show that of the 4,785,000 people who were immunized with coronavac vaccine, only approximately 2 million received one booster shot. But what they found was that of those who were given the different booster shot resulted in different degree of effectiveness. If you look at the increased effectiveness against COVID-19 infection, 14 days after the booster shot, those who received Sinovac and were given Sinovac as a booster increased the effectiveness to 80%. If you gave booster of Pfizer, it increased further by 10%, increasing the effectiveness against COVID-19 infection to 90% and to 93% if you used AstraZeneca as a booster shot. 
If you look at increased effectiveness against hospitalization, those who received Sinovac as primary immunization and got Sinovac as a booster resulted in effectiveness of around 88%, similar to those who received Pfizer of 87%, but those who received AstraZeneca got a better boost in terms of effectiveness against hospitalization to 96%, concluding that these three vaccines that were used as a booster in this patient population all effectively increased the effectiveness against COVID-19 infection and related hospitalization, and that the results support the decision to initiate boosting programs among people immunized with inactivated vaccines like Sinovac. So what does our Department of Health recommend us to use as booster? So this is basically for priority groups A1, A1 to A1.7, which are the healthcare workers. All booster shots should be given at least after six months, except for J&J. If you want homologous boosters, you can use the same primary vaccine brand. If you want mix and match, you can choose either AstraZeneca, Pfizer, or Moderna. The bottom line here, if you ask me, how will I choose? Here are some of the recommendations of experts in the field of vaccination and immunology. If you got two doses of Sinovac more than six months and you're a frontliner, but no history of allergy or adverse drug reactions, then best option would probably be get an mRNA vaccine like Pfizer. But if you get two doses of Sinovac, you are a frontliner, more than six months, with allergy or adverse drug reactions, then it is best that you go for homologous, same brand, Sinovac. How about if you got two doses of Sinovac and you are not a frontliner, but already more than six months, but no allergy, then it's your personal choice. You can choose the best one that you feel you want to get. You can either get Astra, Sinovac, or Pfizer or Moderna. However, similar to the first cases, if you get two doses of Sinovac more than six months, you're not a frontline, but you have allergy or adverse tra- drug reactions, then we would recommend that you go for homologous vaccination of the same brand, Sinovac. However, for those of you who have already received Pfizer or Moderna as primary doses more than six months ago, either you're a frontline or not, you're a healthcare worker or not, then you use the third dose of the same brand. But of note, if you're going to use Moderna for booster, you should only use the half dose. Again, let me remind you that as of now, at least the Department of Health and our government is now rolling out the booster shots. So let's do this legally. This is a call for booster shots, and this is only for now healthcare workers, and this is totally voluntary. Whatever primary series or brand you got, you are at present eligible for only one shot of one of those approved booster vaccines by the Department of Health. Only those who are at least six months from their second dose are eligible. We need to see if this recommendation will continue depending on certain studies because there are studies that show that boosters can be given after three months of the second dose. For those who are worried about adverse reactions, well, it is best that you go for homologous or same brand vaccine. If you feel more comfortable with inactivated virus, you'll not go wrong because effectiveness against hospitalization is similar between Sinovac and Pfizer. So from pure safety standpoint, homologous boosters are more predictable. In other words, if you got Sinovac, Pfizer, or Moderna, you should get the third dose of the same vaccine. There is data that mixing or heterologous vaccination can more likely lead to certain adverse reactions, although so far based on data, they are usually mild. I hope this video helps clear up your minds of which booster shots to get. Whatever booster brand you're going to get, make sure you heed to the LGU if your name is called for booster vaccination. With this, this is Dr. Jaritan 
Thank you for listening.